it's Sienna. Welcome back. I'm here at California State University Northridge through National Student Exchange and I'm having a blast. The first week of school is done. I got to meet all my professors, figure out what all the classes are going to be like. It's been a great time. I'm really excited for this semester and what I'll learn and just the new experiences I'll have. But this week we're not going to talk about school, we're actually going to talk about Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year as a lot of people call it. So this year it was held on January 25th, which was Saturday, and that goes with the lunar calendar. So according to the lunar calendar, it is now a new year. Saturday marks the new year. And each year has a new year according to one of the 12 Chinese zodiac animals. This year is the year of the rats. Lunar New Year is a time for people in the Asian countries to wear traditional clothing, go to festivals, be with friends and family, eat lots of good food, participate in dances and shows, as well as see fireworks. So I came to Cali for the culture and to experience new things. And so that means I couldn't leave without experiencing a Lunar New Year celebration. So I spent the weekend in Santa Monica and there was a celebration at the Santa Monica Place, which is the mall next to the pier and by the Third Street Promenade. I took the train from campus to Union Station and then at Union Station I took a lift back to Santa Monica and I did it vice versa coming back as well. So once I got to Santa Monica I went to the promenade and I saw all the lanterns being hung and there was cherry blossom trees up. They had a traditional dough artist which was super cool to see because you don't really see that much anymore. They mentioned it as kind of a lost art. What it is, is you shape different colored balls of dough into different shapes, so like birds and trees and things like that is so cool to watch. They also had a balloon artist, a craft area for the kids, which is packed a lot of the time, as well as a DJ playing music throughout the whole thing. Around two, a show started around the stage. There was first two songs of traditional Korean dancing. So they had a group of girls in traditional Korean clothing dancing to these songs. The second song was actually a song called Arirang, which is said to be a few hundred years old. I actually knew this one, so it was really cool to see the song have dancers put to it. Once that was done, there was a lion dance, which is more of a Chinese traditional thing. If you've seen the dragon dance, it's kind of like that. There were two lions that did their dancing and interacting with each other, and they produced banners and showed different messages and they also went around the crowd that had formed and let the kids and everyone touch them for good luck. I didn't go down and do that, I was up on the second floor, but it was really cool to watch and experience. Once that was done, they had K-pop dancers, which if you don't know what K-pop is, it's exactly that, it's Korean pop music. So the dances are a little more of a hip-hop style. And it was actually really cool to see a professional group do this because this is something I partake in at my home campus. I do it for fun over there, so it was really cool to see a professional group do it and people who actually really put a lot of time into it. And it worked because their dancing was really good, their hard work paid off. It was really cool to see the five songs that they put up for this performance. Once that was done, there was a martial arts demonstration. And a little more than a demonstration, it was kind of more of a dance. They were able to showcase different martial art moves along with the weapons that they would use and just show how it flows and the dynamics of it. At one point, there was this guy who was breaking sticks over his arms, he was breaking metal rods over his head, and he was really able to have to just show his strength and how it was really channeled through that. I was really impressed by that. Once that was done, they did the traditional Korean dances again for anyone who might have missed it since that was the first thing originally. It is possible people didn't come late and they wanted to see it again. So that was really nice and considerate. But other than that, there were other fun activities throughout the day. They had dance competitions up by the stage and they were doing young gift cards to the store inside. I did quite a bit of shopping while I was there. It was really fun. Everyone was really inclusive. No one frowned on me for being there. And it was just an overall great experience. We ended the day with Korean barbecue, which I would totally recommend if you haven't had it. Go and get Korean barbecue. It's literally my favorite thing ever. If you haven't had it, try the bulgogi. It never fails. It's the greatest thing they have. That being said, when you're in a new place, make sure you find ways to experience the local culture 
and different culture groups. LA is great for this because there's tons of cultural subgroups throughout the city. But if you're not in LA, there still should be other places like that. Go experience new things and don't be afraid to have fun with it. Oh, I'm so glad I had the opportunity to experience this and learn new things about the Chinese and Asian culture. I had so much fun. It was a great weekend. I can't thank National Student Exchange enough for giving me this opportunity and allowing me to go do these fun things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.